Let's spin together AutoCAD tip number three, hatching large areas, tips and tricks. Um, now hatches are very finicky inside of AutoCAD. I'm sure a lot of people had trouble with them, especially when you're hatching huge areas and uh, very complicated hatches. Uh, so it's kind of like shooting darts at the board. You just try different things to make it work. If something doesn't work, obviously. So here is basically the first to go to things that I do. Uh, step one, you want to turn off the gra high graphics performance. Uh, to do that, to find it, first we click here. Uh, there should be a thing that says graphics performance. And let's go find that guy. Here we go. Now we get this guy. We're going to right click him, graphics, and we're going to turn this accelerator off. Basically it makes the graphics a little bit worse, but it'll make it easier to work for us. So now that we did that, the second step is to change our HP Max lines. So HP Max lines, by default it's 1 million, the maximum value is 10 million, and that's basically how many lines a hatch is allowed to make by AutoCAD. The more you add, obviously, it kind of like uh, sacrifices some of the power, I guess, of your computer, but let's say put 10, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so that's 10 million, enter, so now we change that, okay? Uh, so, another thing, let's say we have this area that we're going to hatch. We're going to type in first REA, that's regenerate all. It's going to come in uh, handy. What this will do, it regenerates all of the lines uh, so the hatch can find borders. So let's do that. Enter. Now I regenerated the model. So let's do some hatching. So we type in H, enter. And as you see, it's already getting slow. So we're going to click our uh, diagonal hatch and we're going to click here. So that's one. And let's try it again. There we go. As you see, it is a little slow because there's lots and lots of lines if you were to zoom in. That one looks like it's still doing something. And now if I didn't have this right here, graphics performance, if I turn this on, my computer will crap out. I don't have the most powerful machine in the world. As you see, it's having a hard time already doing this. So, let's erase these hatches. Now, a nice little trick, if you select this hatch, the computer will freeze up because it will select it. So if you want to uh, erase it quickly, you enter the erase command first. So we're going to do E, enter, like that guy, like this one, and erase. So. Another option to do for hatching is we could use the hatch select command. So instead of taking points, you could click this guy here, select, and now we can just select this whole thing, click enter. Now let's zoom in, let's send the hatch to the back because we want to get that rectangle out of it. So we're going to type in DR, and that stands for draw order. We're going to click our hatch, and we're going to click enter, and then you're going to click back to send it to the back. Now we can see our rectangle. So we're gonna select our hatch again, and then you're gonna click select, and that adds objects to your hatch. So let me show you that. Let's zoom in right here, and, and then you click enter. Now if we were to zoom in, as you see we have our diagonal hatch here, and this guy works. So let's get to, I'm going to erase that to uh, make my computer a little faster. Another trick is to just break it up into smaller components. So you could do L, enter, and just draw some lines, copy this over right here, and then let's start hatching. And you basically, you want, you want to do at this point, you just hatch one thing at a time. So enter, escape, start to hatch again, you can use the space bar to do the last command escape and do it one last time now we're gonna erase three of two of those lines and if we were to zoom in you're gonna find that uh, they're seamless so even though it's three separate hatches but they obviously they're using the same origin point and there you guys have it these are the little tricks that I use for it um, once you're done if you move on to a more powerful machine you can right click this graphics and turn this guy back on and everything will look a little better for you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next AutoCAD tip.